Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Caperton. I'm the director of the American College Application Campaign, which is a national initiative of ACT Center for Equity and Learning. I am delighted to join y'all today for Journey to College Day and share the work that we are doing at the American College Application Campaign, or ACAC as you'll hear me refer to it, um, and with our Missouri partners who run the Apply Missouri Initiative at the Missouri Department of Higher Education and Workforce Development. Together, along with leadership in all 50 states and DC, we are a low cost, no cost program designed to enhance and expand college going culture and expectations by supporting students in preparing for and completing the college application process. And to be clear, when we talk about college at ECAC, we mean any post-secondary education, whether it's a certificate program, uh, a two-year degree, four-year degree, we believe there is a post-secondary pathway for all students and want to, in partnership with educators like you, support each student in navigating that journey. For those of you who have not hosted an Apply Missouri program at your school, we are a grade-wide and in many cases a school-wide event designed to increase the number of students who are applying to, enrolling in, and succeeding in college. And while the program is open to all students, we have a focus on supporting first-generation students, students from low-income families, and students who need that added layer of support in order to begin and complete the college application process. Because we believe that students from the least privileged, most underserved backgrounds should be following the same timelines and processes as their most privileged peers, we do ask states and schools to host their college application programs in the fall. In normal circumstances, this is a school day program where all students can and are encouraged to participate. But uh, we recognize that events may look a bit different this fall, and I'll talk more about that in a moment. But regardless of whether you are hosting an event in person or from a distance or remotely, there are two key components to our work. The first is supporting students and preparing for the process and then celebrating their accomplishment. From the support side, we use a framework that was identified by MDRC to support students through the college application process that focuses on building awareness, empowering our students with information, providing individualized advising and assistance with the college application process, and engaging families and the community in your efforts, as well as supporting students through the decision-making process. And we, both ACAC and Apply Missouri, have a wealth of free resources that you can use to build a program uh, to help you implement a successful college application event. So as I said, in addition to supporting students through this process, we also ask that you have fun and celebrate the step in your student's college going journey. We recognize that this is a significant milestone in the college going process for our students. After all, they can't go if they don't apply. And so building excitement for it for both the seniors who are participating um, and the younger students who are watching and learning from the experience is important. For those of you who uh, may be in the school building this fall, hallway celebrations, um, like the one that you can see here on the top left uh, as students are walking to the computer lab, are a great way to engage um, the entire student body. If social distancing requirements don't make this possible um, in the building, perhaps you know it could be done outside on school grounds with safe social distancing. As you can see on the slide, um, there is a link here. It's a video from one of our high schools in California um, that they did about one of their college application programs a couple of years ago, and it's fantastic. I'd highly recommend um, that y'all go to that link and watch it um, to really get a feel uh, and an idea of what ECAC and Apply Missouri can look like in action. Uh, in addition to um, build celebration around the event, Decorating lockers like you see here on the bottom right is a great way for students to show pride in their accomplishments, um, as is using a bulletin board like there on the top right, um, where students can share their I applied news. Um, and certainly students can always use, whether you're in person or virtual, the hashtag I applied on social media to share their accomplishment. And if they or you tag ACAC in it, we are happy to elevate the good news. Um, and celebrate right alongside of you. For some of you, uh, you know, an in-person event may not be possible, um, or if it is, it may not look like a traditional college application event. 
given social distancing requirements um, and or, uh, you know, remote learning, some hybrid approach. And that's okay. Um, what's important is that we are engaging all students in thinking about their future um, and really supporting them in pursuing their goals. This might require your schools to engage students in new and creative ways as you likely did this spring, right? Whether it's through phone calls, um, through online meeting platforms like Zoom or Google Meets or whatever it is your school may use, um, and or through social media. If school counselors uh, or college advisors are able to make social distance uh, in-person visits, great. Um, but, you know, we recognize that COVID-19 certainly does add a layer of complexity to the process. Um, and none of us have attempted to navigate this process in the middle of a pandemic before, right? So we're all learning, we're all in this together, and we welcome your schools to share their good ideas and approaches with us at ECAC by tagging us on social media or reaching out to us directly at the email address you see here. We would be absolutely delighted to lift up your good work um, and share with the national network of educators we've created through ECAC any promising and effective practices that are being done in the field. Um, that said, be sure to follow us on your favorite social media platform so you can learn from the collaborative community of educators uh, we're fortunate to engage with at ECAC. So you know we are working to build resources and toolkits uh, to support virtual implementation of ACAC, um, and those will all be available for free at our website that's listed here at the bottom over the summer. To give you a feel uh, for the some context for the national movement that y'all are a part of, um, last year we engaged 7,300 high schools across all 50 states in the District of Columbia. We supported just under 765,000 students as they submitted 1.2 million college applications at college application events across the country. Um, and as we all know, if the country is to develop the educated workforce needed for progressive and economic development, um, we need to significantly increase the number of first generation students and students from low income families who are pursuing and completing education and training beyond high school. So as we uh, move toward the start of the 2020-21 academic year, if your school has not yet registered to be a host site for a college application event in Missouri, uh, we, your school can reach out um, either to your state's ACAC state coordinator, who is Sarah Shedler, uh, to get connected with the campaign, or you can register at the web address you see here. Um, if you go to where the uh, red arrow is pointing host site registration, select Missouri from the list of states, it will direct you to Missouri's registration link. As I said earlier, we do partner with all 50 states and the District of Columbia, and last year worked with 7,300 high schools across the, the country uh, to host college application events. And we would absolutely love for your school to join us in this important effort so that we can provide uh, the class of 2021 the support they need to successfully navigate this process and begin their journey to achieving their dreams. Regardless of whether you are uh, going to be supporting your students through the college application process in person, virtually, or through some hybrid approach, we are really looking forward to working with y'all um, in these efforts. All educators uh, are welcome to join us for the social media campaign, Why Apply Day, which will be held uh, September 18th this year. Uh, to be clear, this is not your college application event. It's really an opportunity to kick off the college application season and encourage young people to pursue education beyond high school. We know from uh, surveys that many students in the class of 2020 are changing their post-secondary plans, some of whom are going uh, directly into the workforce. Uh, some of whom will be taking a gap year. And with that loss of momentum, we know that our chances of re-engaging them on the pathway to higher education decreases. So we do ask that you come together with us to remind students that higher education remains the best investment that they can make in themselves. Um, and to remind them that they have a network of individuals who are willing to support them on the pathway to getting there. Uh, on our website, we have these templates that you see some of our state coordinators uh, holding here. Uh, again, we welcome all educators, all community members uh, to uh, fill this out, answer the question, why apply to college, and post it on their favorite social media platform. 
And finally, uh, to recognize the thousands of schools across the country who are helping students achieve their post-secondary goals, ACAC has just this year launched a School of Excellence Award. To be eligible for the award, a school must host a college application event and submit their data to the official state campaign. Um, data collection is minimal, as I just showed uh, earlier, at the national level, always aggregated as we seek to understand um, the number of students who participated at events and the number of applications submitted during those events. And these data points are not only critical to understanding the impact of your work in Missouri, um, but these data also matter at the national level where we leverage your impact with the work of all the other states in DC. ACAC state coordinators like Sarah nominate schools for the School of Excellence Award uh, based, as you can see here, on timely submission of data, uh, demonstrated commitment to student success, and serving as an exemplary model for the Apply Missouri Initiative. We were only able to select one high school per state, although we know from Sarah and leadership in uh, Missouri that there are many high schools in your state who are deserving of this recognition. So I do wanna thank all of you for your commitment um, that you've demonstrated to the students of Missouri. Um, but with that said, I am delighted to announce that Osceola High School, located in Osceola, uh, Missouri, with Osceola Public Schools, has been selected as the 2019 ACAC School of Excellence in Missouri because of the outstanding efforts of its school counselor, Ms. Jane Hankins. Osceola High School has consistently and enthusiastically participated in all of Missouri's college access programs over the years and reported data to the Missouri Department of Higher Education and Workforce Development in a timely manner. Almost 50% of their senior class submit the college application during their Apply Missouri events alone, and they continue their efforts throughout the school year. So congratulations to Osceola High School. We are so thrilled to recognize your efforts and are very grateful to call y'all partners in this important work. A plaque is on its way to Missouri to recognize your efforts and distinction as Missouri's 2019 uh, ACAC School of Excellence. So thank you again for your impressive work. This recognition is um, very much deserved. And to everyone joining uh, Journey to College Day, once again, uh, thank you so much for your efforts and contributions to this exciting national initiative and to the important work uh, being done by our partners in Missouri. I appreciate the opportunity to be a part of your event today, and I'm looking forward to cheering you all on this fall. We hope you will join us. Thank you so much.